got it, honey. This your girl got it, jazz, and we're back with another video. Now, y'all, me shaking my ass just because I want to see what's going on. But I'm gonna put my eyelashes on, and then I'm gonna kind of tell y'all my little story that goes with what today's video is. Cause by the title, I'm hot. Hold on. You can tell I'm telling y'all the reasoning, purposes behind my tattoos, which. Most of the time, nobody even knows I have them, unless like I just really don't wear clothes. And still, some of them people really just don't know about. So, ooh. this is random, and I don't know why this idea just popped into my head, but it did because I haven't given y'all any content, and I know I really hope nobody's going to unsubscribe. My life is just very difficult right now. It's a wash going on, and when I have a lot going on. I just try to escape, honestly. But <clears throat> and I hope my mama don't call me back while I'm recording this. That's really gonna irk me. Try to call her. I ain't talked to my mama in some days. Which is really cause y'all when I come home. Well first, y'all it took me four days to get my hair done. Why? Cause life. So y'all first. First day I tried to get my hair done, my sister had to go to the grocery store. So I was like, damn. She only did like two rows in my head. I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna throw with it because shit. At least we got something started. Now you can't be like you can't do my hair because I'm only walking around with 10 braids in my head. I'm gonna look like a dumbass. So, then the next day, I gotta get my hair done. And, hold on, I gotta get the mirror. And my dad decides to leave my sister an hour away from us at work because she had to work a double. But he knew he was leaving her and somebody was going to have to go get her and he can't fucking go get her. Y'all, talking about pissed off. I was so pissed off. I was saying all the disrespectful shit I could think of because why would you do that if I told you I was going to get my hair done? Hey, can you stop being a creep? kind of scared me there all right so then the next day i got most of my hair done it won't no problem and then i finally finished today but the diamond is creeping in here what the fuck is your dog girl i would hang up the damn phone so all right um so I finally finished getting my hair done today, y'all. And they long, like, touch my butt. They're not, like, all past my butt, but some of them are. Because, um, I had to force my sister to do my hair. But she fucking hates me, but I love it. Alright, so, I have six tattoos. Yeah, I have six of them. I'm going to take this shirt off so I can show y'all. So, I'm um, not no perverted way or no shit. But, yeah. So I got six tattoos. And most of them, people don't even know that I have. Alright, so, I'm going to start from the first one that I ever got. I'm going to do it in my order. So, this one, which says, excuse me. <laughs> Blessed today that I hear the words of God and keep it. This is my first tattoo. I think I paid $60 for this. Or, like, me and my ex went half on it or something like that. And, yeah, like... I'm not a very spiritual person, but, I mean, fuck, that's backwards. I'm not a religious person at all, but I believe in there's a higher power. There's somebody above us, and this, that, and fire. So, if you listen to, I have, I believe that I have multiple gods. So, that's how you, you, you just make it. You just have to listen to your ancestors or your gods. They're not going to tell you nothing that you're not supposed to hear. So if you listen to, you don't just have thoughts for no reason. Or you don't just feel something like, you know, you can feel some shit is off. Or you can feel like, I'm not supposed to fucking be here. Or I don't need to be fucking doing this. Not you. Not like your conscience. Like you can just feel it. Like there's something that's like, you're not supposed to be here right now. Yeah, that's what I believe. So if you listen, and your ancestors, your guys, no, they're not going to lead you in the wrong direction. 
All right, so the second one I have is this, which she's fucked up. Um, I'm a Virgo. My birthday is 9-11. And, yeah. Honestly, I got tricked into getting this tattoo. I was with my, uh, with my ex, and he went and got his tattoo, so I decided to get high as fuck. So I'm like, cool, I'm just sitting here watching, you feel me? I'm just gonna get high. As soon as we get done smoking. No, I got done smoking. I fell asleep. And when I woke up, he was done. He was like, it's your turn. I was like, what you talking about? I didn't sign up for this. He was like, nah, you, um, he was like, nah, you might as well get it. I'm going to pay for it. I was like, oh, fuck. So now I got to go get it. So, y'all, I was so high. And one thing, I have a very high tolerance of pain, so I really don't feel shit like normally. Like, y'all yeah, cut my finger. I almost cut the tip of my finger off, and I was sitting there laughing. Like, I feel like this is supposed to hurt, and it don't hurt. So, when I get high, I feel every fucking thing. I was so fucked up. I was like, this is the longest 10 minutes ever. Because it only took, I swear to God, it only took 10 minutes. In my head, it took like 35. I was like, fuck. And it was supposed to be blue. I love it has faded out. So, now it's yellow. I mean, well, it's green because it was supposed to be blue and then I'm yellow. So, yeah. Then, huh? Oh, you're not talking to me. Oh, I went, I went with Tyesha. So she gets some stuff. Okay, this one is my Egyptian unk, which she's kind of crooked because I was laid down like this when I got it. And then when I scrunch up, it get crooked. Yeah. So my dad tells me that the unk symbolizes like a woman's fallopian tubes entering life. It's like how Christians believe that the cross is for them. Like, that's how I feel about my unk. My unk is like... I feel like women just hold all the power. So to me, it just it really does look like a woman's fallopian tube if you look at it. And you can tell that women have all the power. Bitches be trying to act like we don't. But we the only thing that can bring life into this world. Sorry. Without us, it wouldn't be nothing. So all these niggas that be trying to act like, oh, they don't need a bitch and this, that, and the third. You no, know, you do. There's no point. That's what life feels about. Then the uh, other one I got is this one. Which, y'all, I done seen people with this tattoo, and I made sure I was the first person that got this. Probably not, like, the first person in the world, but goddamn. But I was born in 2000, and this is colored in orange. I don't know if it looks orange on the camera or not, but it's orange. Oh, that bitch is cute. But I got that because I'm young as fuck, y'all, and, um, but I really... I really don't give a fuck. Like, I be talking to niggas that be like 25. Tw what, the oldest nigga I'm talking to? I think he just turned 28. Like, and this was like last year when I was talking to him. So, I don't be giving a fuck. I'm proud of how young I am. Alright, sorry. I knew my mom was going to call me back. Um, this is crooked. Hold on. Alright, can't remember what tattoo I was on. Oh, my thigh. Yeah. Yeah, everybody's still my tattoo. And I'm like, why didn't y'all just go get them on y'all elbows? I mean, not elbows. God damn. Your ankles. That's where it's on Pinterest. It's on your ankles. I'm like, what? I'm like, nigga, who? So. My elbows got laid down. I got some glue up there, too, anyway. Um, then what's after that? Got that one, this one. One, two, three, four. Oh, and then I got these. God damn it. Did you just fart? No. Yes, you did. I got these. And got one on each side. It used to be ho. I was born to shoot. All right. I got my hearts on my titties. Honestly, there was no reason to get those. Oh, it was a reason. So Donna was going to go get her first tattoo, y'all. Well, she only got one. And this bitch was so scared. Like she was like, "Oh, it's been hurt. It's been hurt." I'm like, "Bro, they do not hurt that bad." Like, and we big, y'all. We not little ass girls. So I'm like, we got some meat up here. Hers is on her arm. I'm like, Donna. Just go ahead. So I get one. I get both mine on my titties. Cause I was like, I'm not gonna just get one. I gotta give them a match. Next time I'm gonna go get them colored in. So yeah, there was really no point but to show her that it didn't hurt. But then I just started scabbing. I started peeling them. So now they got like patches missing. Cause you're not supposed to peel your tattoos, y'all. Like, but I don't like scabs on my body. That's the only thing I don't like about having tattoos is I don't like scabs. If I feel like if something starts scabbing up on me, I peel it off. And that sounds so fucking crazy, but I peel that shit right the fuck off. Like, 
I got scabs on my knee. Peel that bitch off. It's scabs on my arm. Peel the bitches off. I, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't know. I'd rather just be fucked up. Okay. Damn, your skin really rejuvenates. My sister stabbed the fuck out of me when I was younger, and it's barely there anymore. What? They stabbed me with pliers when I was younger. And then tried to chase me with a chair after the pliers were stuck in my arm. You said you would kill her? I can't kill my sister. I like this on my face. I don't even know where this scab came, like where this scar came from, what the fuck I was doing, but it's there. And then y'all, this has nothing to do with my tattoos. I'm not talking about that no more. But I got freckles on my face. Like those are bumps, but you see them fucking freckles. You can see them. Y'all, I be thinking shit is on my face and I just got freckles. I called my mama. I was like, mom, why? Why I got these freckles on my face? She's talking about, oh, you should have known that was coming. You see all the moles I got on my face. I was like, but I thought you was born with them. I didn't think they just grew. I said, my face waited 20 years. Really, face, you going to wait 20 years. Just, oh, yeah, let's give her some freckles. Hopefully, they don't start Because my mama's grow up off her skin, and I don't like that. That's going to scare fuck. Like, they look cute on my mama, but it's going to scare me if it's on me. Because I really like my skin. And my skin is smooth as fuck. So that's going to fuck me up all the way. Woo. I'm putting alcohol on my face to dry these bumps out. 91%. I bought the shit from my hair. But well, I ain't bought shit. I stole it from my auntie. Okay. So then, I got like four more tattoos that I plan on getting before my birthday. Because my birthday, I'm going to be a bad bitch. I'm going to fuck nobody. Who? Bitch time 21. Oh, be ready. So, I'm going to get seven, either 7-Eleven or 7 right here. Which mama's going to flip the fuck out about it. But oh well, she'll be okay. I'm going to go get 7-Eleven or 7 right here inside my face. And then I'm getting Medusa on my calf. Because Medusa was made out to be the victim. I mean to be the villain. And she was really just a fucking victim. Like, if you look up the story, she was raped. And when she told somebody about it, the dude turned her into fucking Medusa. Because she was being a snake. She was telling motherfuckers what happened. So then when she started actually killing people, because, yeah, y'all turned me into the shit. Y'all took this man's side over mine. You don't think I'm going to fuck y'all up? Shit, me? So then she just started killing everybody. Don't look into her eyes, Kabushi. Y'all went to fucking make her seem like she was a bad person because this man fucking raped her. But, oh, no. My ring's like broken and I hit it. Hold on. But, I'm getting a 777 because 7 is supposed to be God's lucky number. Lucky number. And my, um, or 7-Eleven. I'm probably going to get 7-Eleven. Because 7-Eleven is Jordan's birthday. Ring's like, please stand up. Seven Eleven is Jordan's birthday, and I can't get 9-11 on me because I'm going. What the fuck wrong with you? You believe in them terrorists? No, bitch, it's my birthday. But that, my Medusa, and I want to go get beautiful black child on my spine and Hindu. Now I'm posting this video because if anybody steals my ideas, I have it time stamped that I came up with it first. At this point, I'm still gonna go get my shit, but it's either gonna be a Hindu. Or Arabic, beautiful black child from the song um, "Pretty Little Fears" by Black and Draco. Is that black? Yeah, that's black. Yeah. So. That's, that's what that's supposed to be. What? It's supposed to be black. Yes, it's black. He has a song with Jesse Rise when he says, "Hi, my name is Black, and sometimes people call me Sis Black. I that's don't what mind I call because it. they stop bullying me." And my bank account is looking mighty fine. Bitches go to wine and dine. <laughs> but yeah. So that's pretty much it for this video. I'm trying to see if Ari gonna do this when we switch makeup routines. Cause Ari does her makeup in a very strange way and I do my makeup where I just like a baby doll. I don't know if it's gonna look right on her. But yeah, so 
thank you, my golden gang, for tuning in. I don't know if y'all stayed for the whole video, but oh well. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm coming back with content, y'all. I promise. I just be road running all the fucking time that I don't get to sit down and do nothing unless I'm fucking tired. I be ready to watch TV. That's all. But. With that being said, y'all make sure y'all stay safe, stay golden, and we ain't got to stay at home no more, but I think they're going to start that shit over, and I'm going to be real sad about it. What is it? Stay safe, stay golden. What's another one? Stay blessed. Stay positive. That's what we're going to do. It. Stay positive.